here to talk about something fucking terrible. <laughs> so, um, this bitch, who is this bitch? Emily Oster. I don't know who you are, Emily, but, um, fuck you. She's written <laughs> this brilliant, totally brilliant piece, and I'll tell you why it's brilliant. It is brilliant because it reveals everything that you need to know <laughs> about, about these people. Um, <laughs> we need to forgive one another for what we did and said when we were in the dark about COVID. Uh, just on this first tagline, I can tell you, Emily, you bitch, uh, we were never in the dark about COVID, sweetheart. <laughs> And that um, is a shitty, incredibly shitty excuse. Um, because, and, and you know how I know we weren't in the dark? Because from the very first two weeks to slow the spread, information was flowing. Why? How? Through various amazing new technologies, information highways, <laughs> the gall of this bitch to say, oh, you mean pretend amnesty. Um, she gives this bullshit thing where she's like, oh, we all were wearing cloth masks I made myself and we went hiking my whole family, we were putting on our masks outside. Well, that's retarded. Because from the very beginning, we all knew. We were all told. <laughs> and also, just basic common sense. That a cloth mask wasn't going to do shit. It never will. That's been common knowledge, sweetheart, darling, honey, fucking, what's your name again? Emily. <laughs> Emily fucking cunt. Uh, once when another child got too close to my then four-year-old son on a bridge, he yelled at her, social distancing. Oh uh, yeah, you sound like a shitty fucking parrot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. These precautions were totally misguided. We didn't really blah 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 blah. Uh, we didn't know. You're a fucking liar. That's a lie. You're a liar. The only people wanting a pandemic amnesty are people who are now realizing <laughs> that their whole narrative, um, all of their complete bullshit, uh, is more and more apparent. And, uh, people did finally get sick of it. And nobody gives a fuck about your bullshit laws, your, your, your made-up fucking mandates. That you, you're, uh, these people are just now noticing, hey, Holy shit, there's all this stuff coming out about the vaccines. Blah, blah, blah. She says later, oh, we didn't know. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yes, we fucking did. Why? Because from the moment they told us, hey, these are the kind of vaccines we want to do. Uh, anybody with a brain who looked at them said, hey, this doesn't seem right. Uh, something is wrong. This is strange. And you know what we were called? Fucking conspiracy theorists. Well, guess what, sweetheart? It's not a conspiracy anymore. You're not paranoid anymore when you're proven right over and over again. What am I? Nostra fucking Domus? I guess I must be because apparently nobody knew anything. Who could have thought? She talks about the kids that, like, we didn't know the children missing school was gonna be bad for children. How could we have possibly known that? Yeah, the reason that you're mad now, bitch, is because we're noticing. One of the best things to come out of the quote-unquote pandemic 
which is really just a pandemic of idiocy, okay? One of the best things to come out of it is that we got a really good look at the state of public schools, namely how teachers do not give two shits about these kids, how they phone it in, and then all of the little ways that they're making your kids into um, into activists, the, the little ways that they're digging into your kids' brains to make them hate you. One of the best things to come out of the quote-unquote pandemic is a, an absolute surge in, ho in homeschooling, okay? How could we have possibly known that... <laughs> Are you fucking serious, bitch? We have always known that when babies can't see people speaking, it makes them unable to form uh, attachments. It gives them speech impediments. We've always known that. Literally, since the beginning beginning of humanity we have known these things oh but you expect us to fucking believe that you're just that oblivious you're just that retarded if you're this stupid you shouldn't be a parent okay and i'm not talking about people who made the decision for themselves to wear a mask because they wanted to or people who said you know what yeah that's my doggo People who said, you know what, I'm going to get the vaccine just in case. You know, I don't care about those people. Good for you. The people I care about are the people who said, if, if I do it, then that means you have to. And if you don't do it, then you're going to prison and you're losing your job and you're going to lose your kids. And, and they screamed at us in stores. They freaking followed people home. They, they rioted over this bullshit. Police were beating people in, in, they, they, <laughs> they were shooting at people. Even in Australia, it was beanbags, but they were still, police were shooting at regular citizens for shit we knew. We knew. So don't fucking lie to my face and say that we didn't know. Okay, this is like saying, uh, well, we you know, we, we didn't know that putting people in concentration camps would cause them to starve and die, so let's just have, let's just have no Nuremberg trials. Let's just not have have any of that. We'll have Holocaust amnesty. Shut up, bitch. And anyone who agrees with this bitch. Pandemic amnesty. Are you serious? You, you, you can't look into the mirror and tell me you actually believe that. Do you know what we need? Okay? Speaking as someone who lost a thriving business that I had spent two years working up because directly because of COVID and, and all the fucking weirdos who were afraid and pushing everyone to stay in their homes and making uh, shipping times insanely long, okay? Do you know what we really actually need? We need some pandemic reparations because we knew and you knew and we told you since the beginning this is a bunch of bullshit, Emily. Fuck you.